Severe weather coverage because of cold weather. Now, we put up with Blizzard Allison yesterday, and now we're putting up with the aftermath, which is a lot of cold air. Sure, there's a couple of flurries, maybe even some light snow showers occasionally hitting the area this morning, but I expect that to taper off in the afternoon. 9 degrees by 10 o'clock, 11 by 3. That should be our high, and then back down to 6 by 7 o'clock. Fresh snow has a, a way of really keeping things at the cold side. Also, I want to let you know that because of not only the wind chills, but the very icy roadways, and when I drove into work, basically all the roads, 43, 172, and a lot of the exits were snow covered and hazardous. So the severe weather index, I'm keeping moderate for the next 24 hours. So much colder is our weather story with a couple of flurries mixed in for good measure. Let's check out those flurries right now and a little bit of maybe even light snow with this and the scattered variety across the region. Uh, not expecting any major accumulations, maybe a dusting at best. Uh, wind chills, though, that's the big factor. Feels like minus 11 in Green Bay and Appleton, minus 15 in Anago and minus 18 down in the Dells. Burr, those winds blowing all out of the west between 10 and 15 miles per hour, and they're actually going to pick up in intensity as we work our way into the afternoon, so they're actually going to get stronger. Can you believe that? Here's the actual temperatures, a lot of single digits on the map, 7 in Appleton and Oshkosh, 10 in Manitowoc, 12 in Sturgeon Bay, and you can see the light flurry activity and light snow, Alpaca back over towards Watoma, even Oshkosh and Appleton seeing them. So the storm system's departed, but in its wake, it's left a lot of cold air, and you can have a general idea of where the winds are is where you see the lake effect snow showers. And by lake effect, I mean all of this lake effect snow, so all those winds coming out of the west and northwest, hitting lower Michigan, even upper Michigan, seeing some snows in the east eastern portion of that area. As for us, it looks like mostly cloudy skies, a little bit of clearing to the west, maybe a better chance for sunshine to the south. Futurecast keeps us pretty dry throughout the afternoon. Overnight, we're going to see some breaks in the cloud cover and allow our temperatures to crash, most likely to below zero readings. Brr. At least we're going to be dry on Friday, and we're going to see a little bit more in the way of sunshine. Here's how temperatures shake out through the day, not rising exactly a whole lot, getting near 10, maybe 11 degrees at best. Some areas, even in central Wisconsin, staying in the single digits. And overnight, we're going to see a lot of minuses on the map, not only here in Green Bay, but all the way down to just about Madison. High temperatures on Friday will rebound a very small amount, only in the teens for highs. So for today, 11 for the high, about the best we can do. Westerly winds 15 to 25 miles per hour. That wind will keep the wind chills feeling like below zero. For tonight, minus two for the low, but it's still breezy. Ooh. And then for Friday, 15 degrees. When will we warm up? Well, the weekend will start. 24 on Saturday and then up to 28 on Sunday. Another chance for some light snow in the forecast for Monday. Then on Tuesday, 29. Oh, but some Arctic air comes right back in for next Wednesday with a high of 10. Oh, oh Hummer. A lot of kids outside yesterday it enjoying was fun. that snow. It was great snow to play in. Today, it'll be better if they're in school because it'll be too cold to play. Yeah, I think some recesses will probably be pulled inside. I bet most you're right. Likely. I